David. I wanted you to look at these teacher evaluations that I did. I asked you to do three. How many did you do? 57. Actually, 62. Take me through the board. David, this is Asia. This is where we need anywhere from a 3.0 to a 4.1 GPA just to be in the top 10 schools in Southeast Asia. These are the numbers and percentages of what we need to compete with the other schools. So let me get this clear, so we're on the same page. We're rethinking teaching. Exactly. Look for inefficiencies in the statistics. Precisely. Look at the numbers of exams that are passed and failed. I see. I believe there's a river that hasn't been fished in yet. What's this? This is a code that I've written for our year-to-year -year projections. This is building all the intelligence that we have to project teachers. It's about getting things down to one number. Using the stats the way you and I read them, we can find values in teachers that nobody else can see. I believe there's a championship team of 25 staff members that we can afford, because everybody else in the teaching world undervalues them. This is Dixon Cox. He's a history teacher. He's one of the most undervalued teachers in this world. His defect is that he can't spell. No one in the States cares about him because he writes funny. This guy might not only be one of our best history teachers on staff, but also one of the most effective teachers in all of teaching. This guy? Yep. Believe it or not, this guy. Okay. Continue. David. This guy should cost 2.8 million per year. We can get him for only 13,000 per year. So what do you think? Well, this is just as bad as that 21st century learning bullshit.